head with wearing mitts. I just... And we're live! <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Stock and It Zombies. I'm Amy, also known as Jay Nitma. And I'm Megan, also known as Just Run It, and this is episode 296. Uh, we are slated to talk about tips and tricks. Yeah, I was just realizing that my lighting is like, I need the, the window light, and I haven't done that, but... <laughs> Yeah, so it's, it's like my faux ring lighting. I told you that, that my brother was like, do you have a ring? And I was like, no, I just have a very large front window. Although it is overcast out there and cold, right? So like right, today right. when I put my sweater on, um, I was like, I need this. <laughs> right. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm just noticing a lot of shadows and maybe it's, it's better when it's not my like teeny tiny picture in the corner, but <laughs> I think Sorry. that you'll, you look good, Amy. You look good. It's better than like being very dimly lit, I guess. So. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, tips and tricks. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. No. So just again, a little bit of a reminder, um, the more the merrier is kind of like a dating app with our yarn swap. Um, okay. The more chains that we've got out there, the better. So I heard some people talking this weekend in the weekend hangout table that they were going to stir their stash. Um, need to get those in by Wednesday because I have to create graphics so that we can reveal doors in the in the wall of yarn and um, uh, create X's through the ones that have been stolen too many times and um, all of that. So it'll be a fun graphics challenge for me, but it's not one that I can have you enter day of and be able to add you. So um, the deadline is uh, tomorrow. So end of day tomorrow, please get your, your mm -hmm. entry in. And again, it's very important that you be able to attend because we can't select, I mean, we can randomly select a scene for you, but we can't, um, we can't uh, steal or make any decisions on your behalf. So um, I'm super excited about it. I think it's going to be so much fun um, and kind of thinking through what I'm going to put in there. Like I've, I've got yeah. something like set out but I haven't picked the game that is practically perfect in every single way, except for me. So. Right, right. No, I have a bin of that kind of stuff um, mm -hmm. where it's like, oh, and every once in a while I'll go in through it and I'll actually use something out of there. But um, yeah, it's the not for me anymore uh, bucket. <laughs> Past it, Amy loved it or thought that you would love it or a lot. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Ryan asked if she, if you can enter more than one skein. Um, unfortunately, I think that that would be kind of hard for us to juggle um, as far as when you get to, to um, pick from the wall of yarn and all of the stealing and whatnot. Um, so for now we're going to do one skein, but, but thanks for, for asking and for the excitement about it, Ryan. Yep. Um, I also want to say hi to Sarah and Teresa and Claire was out there chatting it up. It's almost like a little lobby before we start <laughs> recording. So that's fun. Definitely. Yeah, yep. I, I, will, I will staff stir and get in my entry soon too. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit of a poke poke. I, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Amy, do you want to play? You will be well, helping with the administration. So that will yeah, be. Yeah, I uh, did. I kind of thought like, well, I'm going to be doing a lot of the <laughs> ticking and tying as well. So yeah. Yep. Up how many steals. Yeah. I figured I would season the pot with some of my own skeins. Um, so like you might end up not having to ship yours out. What? Oh, <laughs> and okay. Then yours. Um, and then also like I could go first, right? Mm. Cause the first is the one that kind of theirs can get stolen. Um, yeah. sort of thing. <laughs> okay. So I thought I would be the Guinea pig and, uh, get some <laughs> fresh yarn out on the board for people to steal. And anyway, I'm just excited about it. It's exciting. It's something to look forward to. Um, and then you have to be able to mail out your skein by the end of the year. I might encourage people to wait until the end <laughs> with with right. all the Christmas rush and all the USPS um they're just getting hammered right Christmas mm -hmm. cards and Christmas packages I read somewhere that Amazon bought a percentage of a large percentage of their shipping capacity so Amazon's getting some some preference there and mm -hmm. yeah just packages piling up it's uh it's uh, um, the storeroom in in 
or it's the sled in the Grinch. That's my new visualization. <laughs> Well, and I got really excited because I saw one of my packages was getting shipped DHL and then mm -hmm. I clicked on it and then it said by USPS. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I got some, so I got some new glasses with my flex flexible spending account and those were coming UPS and that is slowing down as well. I think as people go, oh, I'm going to try a different method than <laughs> if you slow down <laughs> You're reminding me I have our one joy, our one joy. But yeah. you're reminding me I have an appointment on Friday. I'm getting new glasses. That is exciting. That is exciting. I'm Mine are coming from Ruby Parker. Seeing them until. I bet Wait. you can guess what color they are. Green. <laughs> Green. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel That's like the only people that actually get to see them are the late night crew on the on the VKNs and then the right. weekend crew. Um, when I have my uh, have my uh, Clark Kent moment when I go swap out of my contacts and my <laughs> but maybe I'll show them off. Maybe I'll show them off. So well, I had a few tips and tricks. Are we through our? Okay, I think so. That we did rant, we did uh, administrati, and then lots of random chatter where we ended up talking <laughs> about the United States Postal Service yet again. <laughs> right. So I guess my quick um, tip is that I've been working on my blanket. So there's mm -hmm. a shot of this. Mm -hmm. And so what I've been doing is I've been having a multicolor row and then like a more solid row. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of see how like there's some multicolor in there and then they're next to some solids. And mm -hmm. so the thing that I do uh, is I will lay out all of my, I did organize this. So if you look behind me, there's mm -hmm. three tubs. That, yeah, isn't this crazy? It all used to be in one tub. And so now I'm even more organized, but say I need some ones that are kind of solid that are in the yellow to red uh, type of, so then I have this and then I can look inside and and pick and place them near the blanket squares mm -hmm. uh, at the time. And then I take a snapshot of the yarn and then those balls are put into the active um, bag that I'm using for the project. And then I just knit. And then when I'm at the end, I go look at my picture to see which one I need to knit next. And then that row goes a whole, whole lot quicker just because I've done that pre-planning where I see it all laid out at once. So I'm not like, oh, there's an orange right next to an orange that I didn't plan on because I just pulled the next gain. I like to, you know, like I don't want to put too many yellows in one section of the blanket or whatever. So I try to plan out a row in advance. Mm -hmm. And again, like I said, once the row has been planned, it, it goes a lot quicker. But yeah, this this was my fun weekend project. I took all my minis and put them in separate time. Yeah. My fun weekend prog project was trying to record, um, to use the, the reels on Instagram and also like create that video counting my square. <laughs> <laughs> oh so like I was doing it I was playing around with it I was trying to get the lighting right I was you know taking pictures and setting up the tripod and my husband at some point in the middle of the football game was like do you need help with that and I'm like no I'm just trying to trying to get it right and then and then of course he got to listen to me trying to sync up the numbers with squares popping on <laughs> over the he's like I'm tired of hearing one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so yeah, <laughs> it was, um, yeah, it was, it was a fun project, but, uh, I don't know that I thought I was like, if I was really thinking, and I was really like one of the TikTok influencers, I would have the squares out and just leave them laid out. And then every day when I got a new color of yarn, I would place it in there and take another picture. And then you could like, poof, make it turn into a square sitting next to um, the other, right? But that would require like cats, not one and children and like floor space that could remain well lit and floor space for an infinite amount of time. <laughs> yes. 
So, yeah, and we've already, we put the Christmas tree up this weekend and Sullivan has already bent the base by trying to climb it and, and knocking it over. He broke my Costa Rica ornament. Um, oh no. Which was just like a super glue it back together, but. <laughs> There's no <laughs> way those squares would stay there for the little poof. Um, yeah. Anyway, all of that to say, my tip and trick was I was thinking uh, out on Discord, somebody had talked about they had lost their mojo. Um, mm. And for me, how I get my mojo back is planning. <laughs> I think that really dovetails into what you just said, which is like, you know, you get excited about already, the row goes really fast because you've already decided, made the decisions, right? So, like, the decision paralysis of what color should I use here or whatever makes you just kind of set it aside and go, I'm not in the mood. Right. <laughs> um, so for me, I plan to stir the stash um, and pull out like all of my ZK vendor yarn um, that mm -hmm. is eligible for our upcoming KAL because having it out takes I away from that. that. Did what? you want to see? I already have that. I've not done it yet. So yes, let's see yours. It's an under the bed bag. Ooh. <laughs> that looks like it could be a hockey bag or something. Yeah. That's it's can you can see the window. There is yarn in there. <laughs> I try to console myself by saying that we've been doing this for how many years? <laughs> so that's years and years and years worth of yarn in there. Just keep and that's telling yourself that. <laughs> and it's a hundred percent of the yarn too. So yeah. it's a big part of my stash, to be honest. Yeah. Well, and again, you could probably, you know, because you had bought it previously in some instances, um, that gets um that gets included, right? Yep. Because yep. It, it was previously bought um ZK vendor. Um, we don't allow you to buy from a past ZK vendor now. Um right. so I guess it's kind of on your on your honor there, um, but we, um, yeah, you could just keep that bag. Perma have it all. Yeah, it, and it is, it is fairly perma, but I do cycle out because um, again, like if there's a vendor that's normally there, like I'm gonna say Diane from Suburban mm -hmm. Stitcher, right? Yep. She's normally in there, but I would say the majority of my recent purchases, right? They're not ZK purchases, so they yep. have to be cold from yep. the box of our bag of stuff um yeah. but I think I've already started what your plan is because I have these here yeah and these are my zk projects Ooh. so um like do you remember this past zk purchase it's <laughs> I have it's, that <laughs> yes yeah so I, I found a coordinating and I put it all together and I was thinking I was going to do a Mina shawl. Um, or a cowl? Yeah, the cowl. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that would be beautiful with the color changing and the color work. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep, and then I have like the kinship yarn from Mitchell's Creations and mm -hmm. yeah, like yeah. I started that uh, mojo. <laughs> Good on you. Good on you. I've just planned the planning. I'm like in the pre pre planning. <laughs> um, and uh, I also feel like this time of year, and, and we mentioned it last year, our last week as well, um, that we were going to try to get together maybe a, um, you know, your goals for 2021. Um, but I know that like, so for me, that's motivating and planning is motivating for other people that isn't, right? So mm -hmm. if it starts to feel like your craft is a job because you set out in December of 2020 to knit, you know, like for example, a really popular one is make nine, right? Mm -hmm. So you set out this grid of nine things and that's not bringing you joy and that's not making you happy to be like, oh, I know the next thing I'm gonna cast on, then that isn't what's going to give you mojo, right? Like, I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like other hobbies are perhaps a little less rigid. Like, you know, you don't set out at the beginning of the year um, to do something in golf and you just absolutely have to do it, right? Um, if that isn't bringing you joy, then you walk away from that thing and um, find the thing that gives you mojo. Um, but I, I enjoy the Make Nine Challenges. Um, I enjoy kind of saying, okay, 2021 is going to be X for me, right? I find that motivating. Um, 
but perhaps it isn't for you. Um, so yeah, I think we'll, we'll talk about some, maybe some resolutions and it doesn't all have to be like a finished object, right? It could be reorganizing and catalog cataloging your stash, or I have just like piles of sweaters where I'm not wearing some of my older ones because, and, and they're getting like wrinkled by having so many things stacked up on top of them that I need to like Marie Kondo my, my closet, right? Um, so yeah. Yeah, I was going to just add to that with the mojo thing. Make nine is fun, even if you only make the first thing, right? Like I have done that in years where I've planned out what I want to make for my make nine. And then yep. I made that first thing. And then yep. the, not, the make nine list was not needed anymore, right? Yeah. I just keep going with the ones that I am always like, oh, you created a loophole for your for future you are the ones that aren't specifically patterns, right? So maybe you oh, yeah. take a picture of the pattern that you're super inspired by right now, but instead of saying, I want to knit the Sunset Highway, you say, mm -hmm. I want to knit a color work yoke sweater, right? And yeah. then future you can like pivot and be like, well, I took a picture of the Sunset Highway, <laughs> but I really want to knit this new one that Jennifer Steingast just came out with, right? Right, um, right. And so, yeah, I think, I think again, locking your whole year's worth of knitting and doesn't sound like a, a lot of fun unless you're a person that really enjoys putting those check boxes, right? Yeah, checking yeah. them off, yeah. Yeah. For sure. yeah. And I've made the New Year's resolution lists and done really well with them, mm -hmm. um, especially if they're generic, right? Like, oh, I'm, I plan to make three sweaters or 10 yep. pairs of socks or, mm -hmm. you know, like I don't, not down to the minutia of which pair of socks or which yarn I'm going to use, but yeah, just like, oh, I completed a pair of socks and that's on my list. Check, check. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, the, um, we both, we both knew, um, or, uh, have a friend that lives in the Chicago area, Mo, that went mm. through her stash and just knit every little thing down. Right. And to me, that's also kind of like, that would be like an interesting challenge to be like, not necessarily, I'm going to knit this specific project, but this sweater's quantity or this like, you know, some loose set of yarn has to be knit into a project. And then you have to find the pattern to make that so right in the year. So that's another, like, rather than pattern centric, it's like yarn, right? And I think Bunny Fish does that too, right? She takes a picture of all of the stuff that she wants mm -hmm. to, all the yarn that she wants to knit up. And then she takes pictures of the progress of where she's, how she's worked it down, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I've never tried that. Um, it may be motivating for me. <laughs> it may be like, nope, I, I'm never, maybe it will be the sink or swim moment for that stash item, right? Like, yeah, nope, true. I'm never gonna find anything to knit this with. <laughs> yeah. Or, um, oh my goodness, I'll knit this, right? So, oh goodness, we've got all kinds of people um, chiming in. Um, might do a make five instead of a make nine. I like that idea. Uh, Claire says garter stitch is her mojo resetter. I think that that's a, that's a good one as well. Um, your little miter squares, I think would be kind of a good mojo resetter as well. Yep. Laura said that KALs are her mojo Re resetter, but she gets distracted by new things. So make nine is hard. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yep, we got, we've got a good mix of, um, oh, Claire says join or joins nine KALs <laughs> <laughs> for your make nine. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> so that's perfect for somebody who gets uh, their mojo reset by KALs. So, yeah. Um, I think it's just really what figuring out what works for you, right? Um, I think I recently discovered um, Cass on ZKN uh, or VKN was mentioning that she always drinks a, a, a big glass of water before she drinks her coffee. And I was like, that is genius because anything that I have to do before I have coffee is going to get done. <laughs> <laughs> so like with my squares, right? Um, I'm taking a picture of the previous day's square and I'm taking a picture of the new yarn, opening the new yarn, taking a picture of it, taking it up. All of that is before coffee and gosh darn it, it gets done. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Every morning. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah, for sure. For sure. So yeah, again, it's just figuring out the thing that makes you do what you want to do and brings you joy. Right. Um, it was, was all of that. 
I mean, I wandered here and there and everywhere, but that was right. good. <laughs> I was gonna say, if that concludes our tips and tricks, KELs might be a good segue into our ZK talk. Um, so uh, we're gonna have three teams this year. Mm -hmm. And I know I mentioned it last week, so keep signing up. Um, you'll be able to sign up up until that last month. Um, just keep signing up if you, if you haven't. Um, I'm getting really close to doing those initial assignments. Megan's going to review the lists and make sure that we're fairly even. I'm checking um, it twice. Yeah. We want to make sure that, that there's not a runaway group that has like um, Beth and Nikki. And <laughs> I'm trying to think of people who are very um, prolific knitters that would yeah. enter all of their uh, items. So yeah, um, we just want to make sure that the teams aren't uh, completely one-sided. Yep. And yep. then once uh, we have that set, I will get those linked out on Discord. So you'll be able to see your name in the uh, thread for your team. Yep. And um, uh, for anybody that's maybe... joining us that isn't out on Discord, Amy and mm -hmm. I are planning to send out um, details in the next a ZK email about um, a like not a lunch and learn that's what we would call it at work um, but sort of a review of how to get signed up for discord how to use discord the channels the replying the posting of pictures um, as well as how to use the KAL um, entry form um, so that's yep. all going to be via google this year rather than Ravelry so we're planning yeah. an education session. I guess that's what it would be called. Maybe not a lunch and learn. Yeah, thanks for the reminder on that. Um, we might also touch on some um, settings that you can do to make Discord a little bit more easier to read if you have a hard time with Discord as it is out of the box. Um, yep. There's a lot of adjustments that you can make, font yep. sizes, color backgrounds, things like that, yep. that can help you make it comfortable for you. Um, yeah. I uh, another one that's really great that I that I heard of um, in the in the forums was that you can turn off motion so people can post like gifts and stuff and so if you have like a motion um, sensitivity you can turn that off on discord so yeah, yep. yeah there's, like good. A, there's like a cozy mode so it makes everything a little bit more spaced instead of condensed and mm -hmm. yeah there's a lot of great um, switches you can flip uh, yep. and just to make it better. So we'll have that on Zoom. Hopefully Zoom is kind of the baseline. You would be able to join Zoom, look at our screen and ask questions and maybe follow along on your own screen um, to, uh, to, yeah, lunch and learn. Shana says we have to call it a lunch and learn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is, it, it's perfect description, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. We'll, we'll, we'll schedule it over a lunch hour on the weekend and everybody will grab a sandwich and come and lunch. Yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah, super excited. Things are really heating up. Do you want to give any um, any hints about what January is going to be as far as the um, the bonus bonus? Yeah. So the bonus, um, so you can start thinking about it now, is to try something new. Um, new technique, uh, new um, just something new, right? This is part of getting your mojo going. Um, what I plan to do is attempt Tunisian crochet. Yeah. Um, because we have uh, Tony coming in. Tony Lipsy, yes. yes. So Tony Dale Crafts is going to come and speak with us. Um, and she's got some resources that, sh that we'll be sharing on how to get started into Tunisian crochet, um, which she assures me. <laughs> is a gateway in between crochet and knitting. So it's it's the knitter's crochet. <laughs> yep, yep, for sure. And she had yeah. a washcloth pattern that was free on her blog. Um, and I was gonna start with that one, just something mm -hmm. simple and straightforward. Um, and I ordered the little Tunisian crochet hook from somewhere. So I, mm -hmm. you know, when it gets here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I have not been having troubles with Amazon. So I know, again, in her little write up, I think she had links to some Amazon products. So I was planning on um, once we get that shared going out there and grabbing one of those and Amazon's been coming pretty quickly. <laughs> 
Yeah, so, so I um, am excited to try something new. Um, so yeah. Tunisian crochet will be my my new. Yep. Um, but there's also a few other things, right? Like I haven't done you know traditional crochet in a while, so I was thinking maybe there's something new I can learn in there. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, just something to keep me busy during that month of January with new techniques. Yeah, so. yep, yep. I plan um, again to, to attempt Tunisian crochet. Um, but I also have um, those double knit mittens oh, of Jessie's that I want to cast on. That's a technique that I have never done. Um, so I plan to grab some DK from my stash, maybe like a Jenna stain with some speckles and then a solid maybe from leading men fiber art and like score all the points other than the designer. <laughs> the designer. Well, honestly, I would say that um, that uh, pattern would be new for me too, because I've never done it in the round. Uh -huh. So I've only done double knitting back and forth. Yep, so it would, yep. it would be new. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I did a hat, but I don't remember it. So yeah. Laura says trying a new sock heel. I think that's another great, great idea. Oh, yes. Yep. Or like the first time you've crocheted a garment. Um, again, mm -hmm. Tony has some gorgeous, gorgeous patterns out there. I would not yeah. attempt a crochet garment as my first crochet. Um, I was going to say the new pom-pom also has a crocheted garment that looks knitted, right? Yeah. Like I was like, oh, this will be knitted. fun. I, <laughs> yeah. This will be fun. And I looked at it and went, this is crochet. <laughs> it said, <laughs> look, not needle. I'm like, yeah. oh. So yeah, there's, there's plenty of um, things that I can try and mm -hmm. uh, do a new uh, in January. So. Absolutely. And January is just ram packed. If you're in um, jam, ram jam packed, that's what I was looking for. Ram packed would be fun too, though, in the knitting world. <laughs> ram fleece, um, ram boule. Uh, uh, so other than that, first, like the weekend of uh, the, the first of January, we've got Steph. Uh, so Stephanie Lotman um, and her, her new book, uh, then we've got Tony Lipsy, and she's kicking off her, she's going to have a crochet along um, that you can also participate, so double dip. Um, and then uh, after that, we've got a January thaw um, with ish type event. So a virtual January thaw with the um, Sun Valley Fiber folks that would be that normal weekend and maybe do an FO show. Not maybe, we are going to do an FO show um, and then maybe some, some, uh, chatting with Jeanette and George and, and looking at their gorgeous yarns. Um, so January is just like, there's mm -hmm. a lot to do. So um, if you haven't already, please come and join us. Um, it, we, we have so much fun and um, the more the merrier. Yep, for sure. Yep. But we've been talking a lot and I gotta eat. <laughs> so. you, you are lunching and learning here, Amy? <laughs> Just, just, I decided not to eat on camera. I, I, yeah. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye, you've done.